Yo, what's up everybody, it's Rico here and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into something crucial in our digital age cybersecurity. We live in a world where everything is connected, right? Our phones, our computers, even our refrigerators are talking to each other. It's pretty amazing, but this interconnected world comes with its own set of challenges. Every time you're online, you're sending information across a vast network. And just like in the physical world where we lock our doors and protect our valuables, we need to take security measures in the digital world too. That's where cybersecurity comes in. In this video, we're going to break down the basics of cybersecurity, talk about the different types of threats out there, and most importantly, give you practical tips on how to stay safe online. So, let's jump right in. All right, so let's start with the fundamentals. What exactly are we talking about when we say cybersecurity? In the simplest terms, it's like the digital equivalent of locking your front door, setting your alarm system, and maybe even having a guard dog, but instead of protecting your physical belongings, it's about safeguarding your digital life. I'm talking about your personal information, your online accounts, your financial data, everything you store and access online. Now you might be wondering who's trying to steal my data? Well, it could be anyone from individual hackers to organized crime syndicates and even nation states. And the methods they use? They're constantly evolving. We've got phishing scams where they try to trick you into giving away your passwords through fake emails or websites. Then there's ransomware, which is like the digital equivalent of someone holding your data hostage until you pay up. Cybersecurity also encompasses things like protecting your privacy online, making sure your data is encrypted when it's transmitted over the internet and even being mindful of the information you share on social media. The more aware you are of the risks, the better equipped you'll be to make smart decisions that keep your digital life secure. So, we've covered the what of cybersecurity, now let's dive into the who. Who are these cyber criminals and what are they after? Well, the truth is, they come in all shapes and sizes. You've got your lone wolf hackers, often driven by curiosity or a desire to prove their skills. Then, there are organized crime groups, motivated purely by profit, using sophisticated techniques to steal financial data, spread ransomware, or engage in online extortion. And then, there are state-sponsored actors often involved in espionage, trying to steal government secrets, disrupt critical infrastructure, or spread misinformation. But regardless of who's behind the attack, the goal is often the same, to exploit vulnerabilities in your systems and gain access to your valuable data. Now, let's talk about some of the most common cyber threats you need to be aware of. First up, we have phishing. You've probably seen these before, those emails that look like they're from a legitimate company, like your bank or a social media platform, asking you to click on a link and update your account information. But here's the catch. That link? It's a trap. It takes you to a fake website designed to steal your login credentials. And once they have that information, they can access your accounts, steal your identity, and even drain your bank accounts. Next, we have malware, which is short for malicious software. This is basically any type of software designed to harm your computer or steal your data. It can come in many forms like viruses, worms, trojans, and spyware. Chapter 3. The Importance of Cybersecurity Okay, we've talked about the what and the who of cybersecurity. Now let's talk about the why. Why should you even care about this stuff? Well, the simple answer is because the stakes are higher than ever. We live in a digital world and our data is incredibly valuable. Think about it. Your online banking information, your social media accounts, your emails, your photos, they all contain sensitive information that you don't want falling into the wrong hands. And if your data is compromised, the consequences can be severe. Identity theft, financial loss, damage to your reputation, these are just a few of the risks you face. And it's not just individuals who are at risk. Businesses of all sizes are targets for cyber attacks, and the cost of a data breach can be crippling. Imagine your company's entire customer database being stolen, or your website being taken down by a DDoS attack. It could take months to recover and the financial and reputational damage could be irreversible. So, you see, cybersecurity is not just about protecting our devices and our data, it's about ensuring that we can continue to benefit from the incredible opportunities that technology offers while mitigating the risks that come with it. Chapter 4. How to Protect Yourself Alright, so we've covered a lot of ground here. 
and I know it can seem overwhelming but here's the good news, protecting yourself online doesn't have to be complicated. There are some simple, practical steps you can take to significantly reduce your risk of becoming a victim of cybercrime. First and foremost, let's talk about passwords. I know, I know, everyone tells you to use strong, unique passwords and it's annoying to remember a million different combinations. But trust me, it's one of the most effective ways to protect your accounts. Think of your password as the first line of defense against unauthorized access. A weak password is like leaving your front door unlocked, it's just asking for trouble. So how do you create a strong password, make it at least 12 characters long, use a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and please, don't use the same password for multiple accounts. Next up let's talk about two-factor authentication, or 2FA. This is a security feature that adds an extra layer of protection to your accounts, even if someone gets hold of your password. With 2FA enabled, you'll need to provide a second form of verification, usually a code sent to your phone or email to log in. It might seem like a small step, but it can make a huge difference in preventing unauthorized access. Now let's talk about phishing scams. Remember those emails we talked about earlier, the ones that try to trick you into giving away your password? The best way to avoid falling victim to these scams is to be vigilant. Don't click on links and emails from senders you don't recognize. So there you have it. We've covered a lot of ground today from understanding what cybersecurity is to exploring the different types of threats and most importantly, learning how to protect ourselves. Remember, in this digital age, cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. It's not just about protecting our devices and data, it's about safeguarding our privacy, our finances, and our very identities. The digital world is an amazing place, full of opportunities for connection, learning, and innovation. But like any environment, it comes with its own set of risks. By taking the necessary precautions, by being aware of the threats, and by adopting safe online practices, we can all enjoy the benefits of the digital world while minimizing the risks. Until next time, stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay safe in the digital world.